Hey, boo! Hey! Talk, talk to me! I just came to encourage y'all today. Come on in here! She love me like Lucy. Hey, y'all! Hey, bitch! I just came to tell y'all that y'all chosen! Hey, y'all! Hey, good morning! Y'all, the sun is shining! Chosen, I mean to say what I'm 100.3. Hey everybody, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's not afternoon yet. Hey y'all, hey. I just came to encourage you guys today. Happy hump day or whatever. I hope y'all humping if y'all want to be humping. Ah, hey everybody. Yo, this sun, oh, the sun is shining on my face because I'm chosen. Hey, everybody. So I came to encourage y'all. Y'all, this sun, I don't know. The sun just want to be shining on my face. But I came to encourage my creative today. I came to encourage you guys today because I know that I know that the same things that I go through, you guys go through too, right? And I just want to encourage you guys and send a little love and light, sprinkle a little love and light on your timeline or whatever. Because I've realized that those of us that are creative, those of us that step out and put ourselves out there on a platform. Hey, the more the Y'all, I can't get this sun to stop shining on my face. So, so it's I'm 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 glowing. I got I got a natural glow. So yeah, you guys, I just came to encourage you guys. I haven't been here in a minute. I've been stacking my dope or whatever, and you know, doing what I do best, doing what I do best, and just 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 loving on my creator, loving on the most high, loving, just loving, just loving. Everything that he is doing, right? Um, being full of gratitude every day, right? Um, love is a high vibration. Gratitude is a high vibration. When we start getting into like doubt and fear and depression and complacency and stagnation and giving into people that are gaslighting us and um, just trying to make us feel small. And I just came today to tell you that you big, right? You big and you was a big goddamn deal, right? And everybody is sent here to do something different, right? Everybody is not going to deliver their message the same way, you know? And I just want to encourage those who are stepping out and who are doing something because it's always going to be people in the background pointing, having something to say, sending you bad energy, sending you bad juju or whatever. But I just want to encourage you guys to just keep on going, right? And understand that that the people that you are sent to may be different than somebody else is sent to, right? Your audience may be different than somebody else's audience. So you got to rock out in your own lane, right? And then not only that, like, you have to realize that, like, the battles, hey, boo, good morning. Hey, my Facebook, uh, you had an army up or whatever. So I just want to encourage you guys that, like, the way that you do it may not be the way that other people do it. The way that I do it ain't going to be the way that other people do it. But we have to learn to appreciate everybody's gift, right? Appreciate everybody's gift and appreciate everybody's fight. Because everybody is fighting a different battle, right? So the way I do it may be different than the way she do it or the way that he do it. But I just want to encourage you guys to just keep on going or whatever, right? Because there's always going to be people in the background to to. They got so much to say, right? Or they want to make you feel small. As soon as you step out, start giving your gifts to the world, they got so much to say. But I just want to encourage you guys. I just want to fortify you guys. I just want to give you guys that I don't give a fuck in your spirit, right? 
because I'm not for everybody. I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea and neither do I want to be, right? It, I find it so interesting that people will sit around as you are creating and putting things out there and they purposely try to go out of their way to make sure that you feel like you're not seen, right? But as long as God sees you, that's all that matters, right? Because when you step out and you start operating in your gift, you should be operating in whatever it is that God put in you, right? So I want y'all to dig deep. I want you to dig deep and I want you to be not afraid, right? Don't be afraid to display what it is that you have within you, your gift that's within you that's for the world, right? Because people, I just got to encourage y'all, right? Because I find it so interesting how people sit around, they act like they don't see you, they they, they go out of their way to uh, ignore you and pass you by and all of that stuff. But then whenever you do something that they don't approve of, then here they come. I don't give a freak frack if you approve of what it is that I do or not, because guess what? You don't know what battles I'm fighting. You don't know what battles I'm fighting for what people, you know what I mean? So the thing is, be you, be your most authentic you, be your most authentic self, right? Because the people around you don't matter as much as God matters, right? As long as you're doing what it is that you are supposed to do because of your gift, God gave it to you. And he gave it to you for you to express it in your own creative way, right? So I just want to encourage you guys. And I want to encourage y'all that God is a good God. He's a good God. He's a good father. And he's going to bless us with the things that we ask for, right? So when you ask for it, believe that he's going to give it to you, right? There's no need in wasting time worrying. Worry doesn't get us anywhere, right? Um, anxiety, it don't get us anywhere, right? It doesn't do anything but block us. I just want to encourage you guys to just step out and continue to be brave or whatever. I want you guys to um transcend. Y'all can't, I don't know. I don't know what y'all think about my glow. When that car went by, then the normal thing came on. I don't know. So I just want to encourage you guys to stay in your flow. I want to encourage y'all to stay in your bag, right? And understand that the way you do it ain't going to be the way that somebody else do it, does it, right? And then to my other creators, I just want to encourage y'all, let people be, right? Let people be who they are because those people are sent to their own unique people, right? And you're sent to your own unique group of people, right? So you have no right to sit around and judge other people and how it is that they choose to express themselves, right? Because you never know who it is that they're free, right? You never know why it is that they do the things they do the way that they do it, right? So I just want to encourage you guys today. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day or whatever. When the cars go by, I don't know. They block the sun. So happy hump day, you guys. I just had to come on here and sprinkle a little love and light because I ain't seen y'all. And I love y'all. And I want y'all to be encouraged. I want y'all to be happy. I want y'all to be blessed. I want y'all to know that whatever it is that you ask God for, he's a good daddy, right? The Bible says that God gives us the desires of our heart, meaning not necessarily that, oh, everything I want, he's going to give it to me. But guess what? God places those desires in your heart for you to want those things, right? So if he places it in you for you to want it, then good Lord, you can have it. You can freaking have it, okay? So I want y'all to know that. I want y'all to stand on that, right? I want y'all to stand firm on who it is that you are. I want you to stand firm on who it is that God created you to be. Because he created you to be something unique and special, right? So I just want to tell you guys that I love y'all. I love y'all. And there's nothing you can do about it, right? I'm not sweating none of these. Uh, I'm not sweating none of these haters. I even pray for them because, like, if they don't chill, God going to get them. And, like, may God have mercy on their souls, y'all. May God have mercy on their souls. I do not have time for... Karen, I can't care, right? Somebody came on my post. I posted the little the little guy and he's like at the door, like cussing with the with the gun. I thought it was funny. Don't come for me and my humor, right? So I posted it on my story and somebody felt it necessary to come under there with the squishy face. You don't come underneath, not marry another post of mine. And the reality is she's very well wounded. Like, you may get, like, who knows? You may get the ratchet girl one day. You may get the 
the hood therapist the next day. I'm a very spiritual being. I'm a spiritual being having an earthly experience, all right? So there's no telling what you're going to get. But one thing that you're not going to ever get is me to feel less than, for me to question myself, for me to wonder like, oh, should I? Or for me to ever care about your opinion, mm, right? Because I'm God approved. I'm God approved. So I'm here for a reason and a purpose, and my purpose is going to look different than somebody else's, just like y'all purpose is going to look different than the next person. So be unique, step out and be you, like unapologetically you. That's what I came to encourage you guys to do today. Be unapologetically you. And it doesn't matter who around you doesn't support you, because when you step out and you know that like, hey, I, I got this in me to do, so I'm just going to do it. because. That's my job. That's my job here on this earth, right? Is to be me and to bring out those things in me that will bless the world, right? And it's going to look different for everybody. So I just want y'all to remember that. I want my my creators to be encouraged to just keep on pushing, keep doing you, defy and mystify the naysayers, right? And, and for my creators, I just want to encourage you to just Allow other people to be who it is that they are. Stop all that in the corner, in the background. <laughs> because it's not going to push you any further. And those who know that they are called of God, it's nothing you can say or do that's going to stop them from moving forward. So just spend that energy and time cultivating and captivating what it is that you are here to do, right? Spend that time and that energy working on your own spiritual ascension. You know what I'm saying? So you, you guys, that's what I got for y'all. So you yeah, guys, hold on. Y'all, my phone is ringing. This is going to do what it want to do for a second. But we'll wait. <laughs> We'll wait on you. The devil is such a liar. He's so busy. He's so busy. Now, I done hung up the phone and it's still just a ringing and a ringing. Crazy. Look at this bull. Bull. <laughs> Absolute bull malarkey. But anyway, you guys. Uh, I'm about to get out of here because apparently my phone just won't. Okay. The devil is so busy. And just for that, I'm going to stay on a little longer. I'm going to stay on a little longer since my phone would act crazy. That's crazy. Uh-uh. Have y'all ever heard a phone? <laughs> Have y'all ever heard a phone ring this long? This is how I know, like, the devil is so busy. He always want to, y'all, let me encourage y'all. The devil's always going to come to send distractions, but I want y'all to not be distracted. Don't be distracted by the, the distractions, right? I want y'all to really dig deep in. This is crazy. So my phone just gonna ring forever and ever and ever. That's so insane. Hold on a second. Distractions. <laughs> Yo. Paint. So yeah, I want y'all to make sure extra. So that just means. So that just says to me that like the devil is busy and I don't even like to be talking about the devil but the reality is there's a lot of things that are put in our way to be a distraction you guys 
all kinds of stuff. So I want y'all to, um, let me also encourage you guys today to really, um, step into your intuitive gifts, right? So everybody doesn't call it intuitive gifts. Um, Christians may call it like your prophetic gifts, your discernment, just really, really, um, tap into that, right? Because the enemy is sending setups, pitfalls, um, and major distractions, right? Major distractions. The fact that my phone just was like ringing and like won't stop ringing, like that distractions, right? So I just want to encourage you guys. I just want to tell y'all I love y'all. Okay? I just want to tell y'all I love y'all. I just want to encourage you to shine your light today, right? Um, I want to encourage you to believe for the impossible, right? I want you to believe that whatever it is that you ask God for, he's going to give it to you. Okay. Whatever you pray for, he's going to give it to you because he's a good guy and he gives good gifts. Okay. I want you guys to never, ever forget that God is with you, right? He's with you in everything that you do. If you include him, wake up intentional in the morning. God, what do you want me to do today? God, what do you want me to say today? Right? And rock out with that. Rock out with that. Don't allow anything to be a distraction. Okay? Love who you want to love. Eat what you want to eat. It's like, I want y'all to eat good food, right? Because, um... Our spiritual downloads, a lot of us are being activated, right? Um, it's a full moon, so it's a lot of um, it's a lot of energies to manifest, right? So I want y'all to be harnessing your manifestations, whatever it is that you want to see for yourself, right, in the future. Um, whatever it is that you want God to put his hands on for you, right? Whatever it is that you have decided that like, yo, I'm going to venture out. I'm going to do this. I am going to create this, right? I want you guys to um, be encouraged in that, right? And I want you guys to be brave. I want you to be brave. And I want you to um, not allow those around you to rattle you, right? Don't let them shake your footing. Allow your footing to be in God the Holy Spirit, uh, the Most High, whoever it is that you uh, resonate as the creator of your soul, right? Allow everything that you do to be rooted and grounded in that. Allow everything that you do to be rooted and grounded in your spirituality because regardless to the fact that um, people probably want to be like, oh, she cuss, she this, she that, she can't possibly be. Yo, I'm God's favorite and you better know it, okay? So everything that I do is intentional, whether it is to like make somebody laugh whether it's because i laughed so i shared it or whatever the case may be i'm not everybody's cup of tea and i'm not here to be everybody's cup of tea i'm here to be me unauthentically authentically me and that's just that's it that's just it and that's period right um and with that unlike other people like i got a gang of broads right so like i'm one of those people like i create tension in people because i'm a divine mirror so people look at me and they see their shortcomings i'm not trying to make them see their shortcomings i'm just trying to love on them i'm just being me right but sometimes when we're a divine mirror we show people what they're not we show people what they're not and then we get people upset so then they they join together with other groups and covens and, you know, they not brave enough to just, you know, take you on one on one because they know you stronger than them. So people find solace and they find power in groups of people. Right. I want you to not be afraid to step outside of the group. Right. And realize that you don't owe anybody anything. You don't owe anybody anything. I don't owe anybody anything. Right. Because anybody who whose life I was in, I was major. I was encouraging. I told them who they was. I told them what they could do, right? So anybody who uh, showed themselves in this last season that I was in, guess what? They won't be going into this season with, with me unapologetically. And I'm not apologizing. No, I ain't calling you back. No, I'm not texting you back. And no, I'm not apologizing because you know what you did, period. So for those who feel like, oh, she's so whatever, 
I fight because I got to fight. Everybody doesn't, everybody is not aware of somebody else's fight. So that's why we need to stop judging people. You have no idea what people have to get up and fight through every day. You have no idea, right? So I know people look at me, oh my God, she cuss, she ratchet. Guess what? Because the motherfuckers I deal with is ratchet. So I got to come at their neck like they come at my neck. Even though they don't, they don't, they don't step to me like a real man or like a real woman. So I got to deal with them the way they, the way they do shit on social media. So guess what? Sometimes I got to get with niggas and I'm not apologizing for for it and I'm still an earth angel and I'm still loving life so that's just gonna be what it is so this is a PSA for those who feel like their opinions matter it doesn't y'all I need y'all to just step out be you like crazy like and if anything like let the hate like just motivate you like let the hate just push you right you don't got time to worry about what other people think how other people feel you better wake up and ask God what do you have for me to do today I'm on live because he had me to come on live today. I was making videos yesterday because he had me in my creative bag yesterday. He had me in my love bag. You know what I'm saying? Because people don't, people hate love. People hate love and they hate healthy relationships and they hate people that's in love. So guess what? I'm here to be love, show love, give love every motherfucking day. And I hope I make people mad every day day because i'm going to be love and light i'm going to be love and that's just period i don't care how many people try to break my heart i don't care what you send like nothing you send it ain't hitting me i'm ducking i'm ducking i don't care what you send i'm still up i'm still up and i'm taking those that want to go with me I'm taking y'all with me. And for those that want to sit around and t -t 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 -t, guess what? You're going to be left behind because you're non-factors at the end of the day. You're non-factors, right? And people have a right to deal with people. People have a right to deal with the people in their lives that are not doing them the way that they should be. Like we want to, it's so crazy. So many people sit around. Y'all do so much hating. Y'all do so much subliminal shit. Y'all do so much witchcraft. Word witchery. Y'all do so much witchcraft. Y'all do so much dark stuff. Y'all do so much stuff in the dark. And then whenever somebody want to step out and speak their truth, y'all have the nerve to try to make people feel small or try to make people um, question who it is that they are, question their confidence, question whether people enjoy their gift, question whether people love their art, question whether people love their music. Like, shame on y'all. So I'm just here to encourage y'all. I'm just here to let y'all know that like I'm never ever stopping and whoever ain't never ever stopping and they always going to just keep rocking out and doing what it is that they know that they're called to do, then come on with me. And for those that want to sit around in their corners and have so much to say and think that people don't know about their plots and their plans, like there's literally people that will sit in the in the background and pray pray that things don't work out for you pray that you have a broken heart pray that your money will be fucked up pray that your life will be in chaos pray that your house will be in chaos and it's sad they don't get that much energy but the thing is they spending tons and tons and tons of energy trying to hold back those that are moving forward and that's everybody it's not just me it's not just me. It's any and everybody that's stepping out to do something. It's any and everybody that's bold enough to step out and have a platform. Any and everybody that's that's bold enough to put their gift out there. And y'all know we artists, so we sensitive about our shit, right? But I just want to encourage y'all today. I just want to encourage you guys today to just keep on going and know that I love you. Peace.